Hi viewers, I'm Kartini Kanan from the YouTube channel Cooking with Kartini Kanan. Today we are going to look at a very simple clay pot chicken rice. Oopsie! Not clay pot chicken rice but clay pot mushroom rice. So this is how our clay pot mushroom rice will look like. Do you all want to know how to do this simple recipe? Come follow me and we'll go into the kitchen to see how to prepare a very simple and very tasty clay pot mushroom rice. Let's cook clay pot mushroom rice with the following ingredients. Here I have onion, garlic and ginger which I've already pounded into a paste. Some oyster sauce, garlic powder and pepper, it's vegetarian oyster sauce. To replace the chicken in our clay pot mushroom rice, I'm using baby king oyster mushrooms. The bigger ones I've sliced like this to be sauteed for garnish. For a wonderful fragrance to the rice, I'm using some screw pine leaves or what is known as dom pandan. And here I have some rice. Let's look at how we are going to cook clay pot mushroom rice today. So for the clay pot mushroom rice, I'm using some margarine. This will lend a richer taste to the clay pot mushroom rice. Normally flavors are released from the fat in chicken but to replace that richness, I'm using some margarine and also a little bit of oil. Let the margarine melt, then we'll be adding in the ginger, garlic and onion paste. The margarine has already melted here. Into this, I'm adding the ginger, garlic and also onion paste. Let this fry for a while until the aromas are released, after which we'll be adding in the baby king oyster mushrooms that replaces the chicken. Into this, I'm also adding some pandan leaves or what is known as screw pine leaves and sauteing it together with the ginger, garlic and onion paste. This will release the aromas for the rice. The ginger, garlic and onion paste has been sauteing for a while. I'm adding in the baby king oyster mushrooms. This will also fry for a little while to release some of its moisture. Once it has released some of the moisture, I'll be adding in the vegetarian oyster sauce just now that has been mixed with garlic powder and also pepper. Now I'm pouring in the vegetarian oyster sauce, garlic powder and pepper. This will add the savory tinge to the rice. And at this moment also, we'll be adding in some salt and some sugar. Giving it a stir. Along with that, we'll be adding in the rice to toast along with the ingredients. Keep stirring so that the rice doesn't catch to your pot. Now that the rice has toasted with the ingredients, I'll be adding in a cup of water. After we've added in the water, just give a stir so that all the ingredients are well incorporated and we'll cover and let it cook until the rice is done. This rice will cook for around 5 minutes, then we'll check on it. Uh, 5 minutes plus already, it should be ready. Now I'm offing the stove and taking out the cover. Mmm, fragrant rice is done. Yes, it's already done. Mmm, nice aroma. It's ready to be served.
Mmm, yummy, yummy. Ma clay pot mushroom rice is ready. I've served it with some cucumber slices, roasted mushroom, and a very simple sambal. The sambal consists of fresh red chilies, garlic, and ginger with a squeeze of lime juice. So there you have it. It's so easy to make a delicious clay pot mushroom rice, where the mushrooms replace the chicken in this recipe. I do hope you try this recipe and I will see you in my following episodes. Do click the subscribe button below for more interesting vegetarian cooking videos.